everyone greetings greetings so i'm back with another video if you are new here hello welcome to the channel my name is jasmine i told by jazz whatever you want to call me whatever you know me by if you are not new here hey girl welcome back to the channel make sure if you have not already you subscribe hit that subscribe button it is free it costs nothing and keep up with me and make sure you turn your post notification bell so that way you are notified whenever i upload a video and make sure you follow me on all my social media sites i'm gonna link everything down below in the description bar and yeah so without further ado we're gonna strong, jump straight into this video i um got a request to do a video well i had a few requests to do this video it's basically a how i stay organized in college and you know stay up on top of my classes i also had a request to do a budgeting video while in college i was going to do it all in one but i'm gonna do a separate video for that because i have like a whole budget system so i'm gonna make a playlist so if you have not seen my last two college related videos on my channel make sure you go check those both out i'm gonna leave the links to both of those videos in the description bar and like i said i'm also gonna make a college school playlist so that you can go click watch the videos and make sure you catch up so yeah like i said without further ado we're gonna get straight into this video this is going to be a how i stay organized in school college so just a little quick background before we get started if you do not know or if you are new here you don't know um i am in college i'm a criminal justice major i have about a year left um and then after that i'm gonna go to law school to you know further my degree so yeah that's just a little background about my major if you want to know more about my major there's some other videos on my channel that you can go watch again i'm gonna link them down below make a playlist and leave a card all that it's gonna be easy access you can get to to watch them so if you want to go watch those first you can go watch them and come back to this one or watch this one and go watch those after however you want to do it okay so i want to say excuse the lighting in my room i'm recording this at like two o'clock in the morning my ring light is broke and I'm sorry, I just have to work with what I got. I hope y'all can see me. I hope it's not too bad. But um, I'm gonna purchase a ring light really, really soon. So the first thing that I wanna mention whenever it comes to like staying organized in school is you have to um, make sure that you're disciplined. Um, and when I say that, it's like stay on top of your schoolwork. So you wanna make sure you prioritize your dates of your assignment, your due dates of your assignments making sure that you know when they are done well when they are due so a good way to do that is to kind of just go class by class however many classes you're taking just go each class look at the syllabus or look at the assignment due date with my school i um do go to school virtually um so my professor basically he just loads all of the, the entire semester, he loads them all, he or she loads them all onto Blackboard and we can access them at any time. We can go at our own pace, we can go before the class, we can go, we can complete the assignments when they're due, like after due date or we can do it before. Um, they, But the only thing they don't do is grade them until the actual due date. So I like that because it's like, if you have some spare time and you wanna just kinda go ahead and get some assignments done, like for instance, if you know you're gonna be busy or you're going you know, on vacation, you don't wanna really deal with school, you can kinda just go ahead and do the assignments ahead of time so that way you don't have to worry about it and you can just enjoy you know your free time so that's what i really like about it but if you don't have that like you don't have the luxury of having your professor upload all of your assignments for the entire semester and you they basically do a week by week because i've seen it where it's done both um you just want to stay on top of your assignments so if you have an assignment most assignments in college they're normally due midnight on a sunday which that's how I've seen it since I've been in school. Your assignments normally are due on midnight um, on Sunday, unless you have like a midterm or something. But you just kind of want to stay on top of that. So a good way you can do that is like make a system. You can get a planner, which I love. Like I love a planner. I love a good planner. You can literally find a planner anywhere. Um, you can get a planner, write out your assignments. And I'm gonna show you guys my planner. Like I'm gonna put a little clip on my planner and stuff. Um, 
you could get a planner and just prioritize your assignments that way I like to color code them by classes so that way I know you know this class is due this day I'm gonna do this work this day so it just kind of makes sense in my brain versus it just being you know rolled out and I kind of get confused another thing you can do because I know we all love our phones phones are great especially these these day and age um, phones are great um, there is a way that you can like prioritize your assignments on your phone um, there's a I had this planner app at one point but I don't think it's available available for download anymore because I try to go look for it and it, it just wasn't coming up in the app store but there's another app that you can use to prioritize your schoolwork um, it's basically Google Calendar I um, love Google Calendar so it's basically it works just like a planner so this is what it looks like I'm gonna do another on screen um, side by side of how I prioritize in Google Planner it's very simple you can prioritize by month like this is October you can prioritize by month you can organize by week you can organize by day it gives you a breakdown even down to the hour so Google um, Calendar is a really good planner or um, organizer app that I definitely would recommend this is not sponsored no um, so yeah this is really good like I have some of my assignments right here I don't know if y'all can see but I have a few assignments like I said I color coordinate them by class so that I know I'm taking four classes this semester so it's really sometimes it's really hard to keep up with but if you like I said if you stay on top of your your um, due dates you really won't have a problem and I really like putting them on my phone because we always have a phone in our hand so it's like if we can see it on our phone it just makes it well me personally if I can see it on my phone it'll just make it a lot easier for me to you know just access it unless like rather than you know trying to find my planner or find a piece of paper or sticky note or whatever I wrote it on it's just easier to find it on my phone um I know I still like a good planner like I said I still love a good planner but sometimes you know if I can just grab my phone real quick and be like okay I have this due this day let me go ahead and do that being that I'm taking four classes um this semester what I like to do also is I like to prioritize the day that I do my work so you just want to kind of find like a day that works for you that's not too busy so if you're like me and you work a normal nine to five throughout the week um, what I do is every Sunday I'll go in and I'll complete an assignment especially whenever especially when my assignments are due on Sunday at midnight I make sure that I get up early that day around eight nine o'clock and I just go in and I tackle assignments that I did not tackle and then I also take one day out of the week which is normally a Wednesday because Wednesdays I'm off Thursday so I can stay up later on Wednesdays to do work so it doesn't really bother me to stay up um because I know I don't really have nothing to do the next day so I'll stay up on a Wednesday night and get a lot of work done so that way when Sunday rolls around I don't have too much to do you know what I'm saying so this is another look at Google um, calendar so it gives you this is the day today breakdown like I was mentioning earlier and then this is the month oh I hope I didn't delete nothing no don't delete and then if you go back to the calendar um hold on it gives you the month so yeah it just kind of it works for me you can definitely try it out if you don't want to download Google Calendar or if you run out of storage because yeah, I know how that go you can use your um the actual calendar on your phone the calendar this one and you can pretty much put your um assignments in here Google Calendar works the same way Google Calendar is just more like I guess organized and prettier so you can use either or either or is fine um you can even set like alarms for your due dates and stuff like that um, so yeah, I use Google Calendar faithfully. Another app, if you're not a planner person, you can use um, Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel is another great way to prioritize your um, your assignments. And you can also color code on Microsoft Excel. Um, I don't really know how to do it, but I've seen it like going around on TikTok and stuff. But I've never really actually paid any attention. But you can literally like. Um, find a YouTube video on how to color code your um, Excel how to set it up basically with 
your dates and your assignments that are due um so that's another thing that you can do I'm, i don't really have much knowledge on it but it looks like a, a great way to stay organized if you're not really like a planner person or if you feel like your phone might be too much of a distraction then that's another way also another tip i want to give is to make sure that you have another like you have a study space a study space is going to be so important because you're going to stay focused if you're doing i'm not going to say you're not going to really be focused if you're doing your work in like bed or something um i just feel like with you having a study space you when you go to that space your brain knows that you're there to study or to work or do assignments or whatever it is so i just feel like your bed should be your bed like you should be in your bed when you're asleep and then when you're studying you should definitely be separated from your bed because i feel like you should just always kind of like separate the two i don't feel like you should be doing schoolwork in bed because why i mean if if that's your preference that's cool but you know this is these are just tips that i have i just feel like a study space is more effective whenever you're trying to study because you're there sitting up there's nothing there to distract you versus you would be in a bed trying to study and you might fall asleep get on your phone and just forget about studying so yeah i recommend the study space so if you don't have an actual desk you can you can do it in your room you know get a chair sit in the corner of your room whatever but just make a designated study space because it'll kind of help you focus a lot more so that's another tip that I have. Another tip that I cannot stress enough is to take really good notes whenever you're in class. So whether you're virtual or you're in person, take good notes because those notes are going to help you when it comes down to studying for whether it's a midterm, your final exam, or a quiz. It's always going to help you if you take really good notes. What I like to do is I like to leave myself little voice notes. So if like I forget something, I'll just leave a voice note in my phone so that way I can refer back to so it. So I wanted to pause the video right here and just explain basically what I meant about taking voice notes. Um, basically what I meant by that is if I don't have time to write down some important notes in class, like say for instance, um, my professor is going really, really fast and I can't catch all that he's saying, I'll basically record what he says or just make little mental notes and leave them notes in my voice notes. I hope that made sense. Um, also, if I forget to write like a important key part down, then I'll leave myself a voice note as well. So that way, whenever it's time to study, I can refer back to the voice notes. Okay. So I still, like I said, I still take notes. I still, you know, take really, really good notes, but I always find myself forgetting something or find myself not writing enough so i'll just leave myself a voice note so when i do get to that part of where i'm studying i can go back and listen to my voice note and go from there so definitely make sure you take really really good notes that is crucial in school like i feel like everybody should know that um if you're a freshman coming in take notes i promise you it's going to save you so much headache so much time when you're studying because you have these notes versus you having to go back and look back in your textbook trying to find what chapter and trying to remember what your professor told you earlier take notes i promise you it's gonna help you so much taking notes make sure you have a separate notebook where you can take your notes for the class and you can refer to each time you want to study for your quiz or your exam or whatever it is take notes i cannot extra i cannot stress that enough take notes please take notes if you don't do anything else take notes okay okay and my last tip i have for you guys is to just make sure when you are studying that you're taking a lot of study breaks because it can get tiring and then you just might want to just give up on studying so just make sure you take a bunch of study breaks make sure you um you know you just you take a break rush your eyes and also it helps too if you have like a study partner not a lot of people have that luxury i don't have that luxury study partner that's definitely a good idea as well you can also listen to music when you're studying it helps me a lot too to listen to music i know a lot of people can't because they get distracted very easy but yeah um i'm also planning on doing a study with me video so if you guys want to see that make sure you give this video a thumbs up that one is going to be up probably 
I can't say a date, but it's gonna be really soon. Um, I'm gonna do a whole study with me video. That's gonna be pretty fun. So make sure you guys subscribe. And yeah, I know this video was really, really short, but I didn't really have much tips. This is just what I do. I've been in school for um, a little over three years. So it's kind of like, now it's just kind of like, you know, something that is just hair for me so it's, it gets what i can say is that it does get easier over time so if you are a freshman please do not like get discouraged it will get easier for you over time i know you probably heard that so many times but it's definitely true you're going to get your flow you're going to start getting the hang of things and you're going to start figuring out what works for you and that's like the best part once you figure out a flow and what works best for you as far as staying organized and staying on top of your stuff and studying then that is when everything is going to be smooth sailing but i hope these tips helped you in some sort of way um i hope this video was some sort of help um if you want to see more videos like this make sure you make sure you let me know in the comments down below and i will be surely glad to make them make sure you subscribe so you can see the study with me video i'm also going to have some other school content coming um these videos are doing really well on my channel so i plan on keeping them coming but yeah i want to thank you guys so much for watching and again i will see you guys in my next video bye